ocean is a magical land full of wonderful, colorful and sometimes bizarre creatures. Would you like to meet some of them? Yes? Then let's you and I hop onto the magic school bus and take a dip in the tide pool. Are you ready? Let's go. It's fun to be in Miss Frizzle's class. She wears funny dresses. She wears funny shoes. Her bus can be funny too. It's the magic school bus. We have been learning about where different animals live. But today we are going to the pool. I can't wait to go to the pool. Maybe the frizz will give us swimming lessons. Miss Frizzle says it's time to leave. Come on Arnold. I have a funny feeling about this. Miss Frizzle drives right past the swimming pool. We drive for a long time. Wait! Miss Frizzle, you missed it! When we stop, we are by the ocean. The water is coming in and going out. Wow! At my old school, we never went to a pool like this. High and low by Ralphie. The ocean water comes up to the land in waves. At times, the waves do not come up very far on the land. This is called low tide. After low tide, the waves start to go higher. When they are at the highest point, it is called high tide. As the tide goes out, we see more of the beach. Waves crash against the rocks far away. Miss Frizzle drives towards them. Miss Frizzle? Why don't we go to the pool? We are going to a pool. We are almost there. A World of Water by D.A. At low tide, there are places in the rocks that hold ocean water. These places are called tide pools. The frizz pushes a big button. The bus starts to change. It shrinks. It grows eight legs and two claws. Now it is the bus crab. I knew something funny would happen. The bus crab climbs up on the rocks. It crawls until it comes to a hole. The hole is deep, but there is water at the bottom. Class, this is a tide pool. According to my research, Lots of plants and animals live here. Barnacles, mussels, sea sponge, sea lettuce, sea star, sea anemone and sea palms. A bus crab walks in the dry rocks. What are those? Wanda asks. Those shells are animals, the frizz says. They are called barnacles. Those shells are not moving. They must be dead. Just wait and see. The bus crab jumps into the pool. When we hit the bottom, Miss Frizzle tells us to get out. We start to change as soon as we leave the bus. Now we are crabs too. We are hermit crabs. We can breathe underwater. Crabs have gills just like fish. Shell stands for shelter by Keisha. Hermit crabs have soft bodies. They need shells to keep safe. They usually live in snail shells. Miss Frizzle tells us to explore. We walk around on our four front legs. Our back four legs stay inside our shell. Come on Arnold. My shell feels too tight. Arnold, stop being so crabby. Just then, a shadow falls over us. All we can see is green. Dead man's fingers! DA yells. Yikes! A, a dead man? Where? DA tells us not to worry. Dead man's fingers is not a monster, she says. 
It's just a plant. We feel better, but not for long. The tide is coming in. The water is moving. It's hard to see. Where did Arnold go? Barnacles, giant green anemone, mussels, sea anemone. At high tide, the tide pool comes to life. Wet is best by Wanda. At low tide, animals protect themselves from drying out. They close their shells and tentacles to keep water inside. When the tide rises, the animals open up again. We have to find Arnold. We do not see him, but we see lots of changes. Slender red star. Sea lettuce. The water rushes all around us. We see something float by. It is Arnold's shell. Oh no! What happened to Arnold? We search all around. We look up to the top of the pool. The waves crash against the rocks. The shells we saw before are now open. Are those barnacles sticking their tongues out at us? Actually, those long stringy things are their legs. Super glue by Keisha. Acorn barnacles make a special glue. They glue themselves to the rocks. The glue holds them in place so the waves won't carry them away. My research says the barnacles use them to catch food. My mom would never let me eat with my feet. Then we see something bright and striped. It is heading towards us. It's Arnold! Arnold, we saw your old shell. What happened? That shell was too small, so I found a new one. Moving on up by Arnold. Hermit crabs grow. As a crab grows, its shell can get tight. When a shell gets too small, the crab moves into a bigger one. We climb back on the bus crab. All at once, we are kids again. We drive across the sand and watch the tide go out. I bet those barnacles are closing up so they stay wet. I'm happy to be nice and dry. We are happy to be back at school. A lot happens in Miss Frizzle's class. But even more happens in tide pools. Who knows what our next field trip will bring? Miss Frizzle has on a new dress again. Dynamite! Wow, we That was a thrilling adventure. The tide pool has such a myriad of kaleidoscopic creatures. Looks like Mother Nature was having fun playing with colors while creating them. Yes? I think so too. From Tiny Tot Tales. Till next time. Toodles everyone. If you enjoyed listening to this story, please like and subscribe to Tiny Tot Tales. If you have any story requests, please send an audio or a visual clip to our email given in the description below. Thank you.